Smash your TV! That made a satisfying sound. What's up, audience? Swegta, the absolute worst bully channel on YouTube, back again with another breaking bully video. No one sucks at making bully videos as much as I do, and I'm damn proud of that fact. It's like Nathan, he's good. Simon Bestia, he's good. Deadpool XYZ, he's good too when he's not going on a six month long hiatus. Swegta though? Don't even get me started on him, he sucks. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm not really myself right now. I am a bit hungover and I also feel kind of ADD as f So uh, I'm gonna do my best at tackling this video with enthusiasm and high energy while at the same time tackling the most obnoxious headache I've ever had in my life. Like with the previous glitch I covered in my last Breaking Bully video, link down below, this one was sent to me by a viewer of mine on Twitter. So before I get into it, I just want to give a quick thank you and a shout out to CrazyAdam2000 for showing me this trick. As a lot of you know, Bully has a spaceship arcade race minigame named Future Street Racer. It can be played in various locations in the game and it also comes in two different modes. Both versions play out the exact same way, the only difference here being the camera mode. Future Street Racer 2165 being the top-down version of the minigame found in most of the safe houses, and Future Street Racer 3D, which is the third-person version of the minigame, found in both the carnival and the beach clubhouse you unlock in Chapter 2. this pay to win bullshit. So, you might be thinking, what is the glitch? What am I going on and on about? Well, this glitch basically allows you to take control of one of the arcade ray spaceships outside of the actual minigame. Essentially, what we're gonna be doing is using the mission Complete Mayhem to take Jimmy out of the minigame while the mission is still running. I'm gonna do my best at explaining it as we go along, so make sure to pay close attention to, uh, my attempt at an explanation. Oh, now, before I begin, I should give a quick spoiler oops warning, because this glitch is only possible at the very end of the game. So, you know, if you haven't gotten to that point just yet, and you want to avoid me spoiling it, then you have been warned. Clicking away to another Breaking Bully video is what I suggest. Alright, you, you got it, you've been warned. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, the end, that's it. Alright, let's begin. Start off by initiating the mission Complete Mayhem. Rescue Russell from the cops and wait for the following cutscene to begin. Jimmy, there you are. I don't know what to do. Oh, and uh, here's a fun little developer oversight. As soon as this mini cutscene begins to fade, the game actually gives you control of Jimmy. I don't know why, but it does. So, you know, if you want to punch Russell for no apparent reason, you could. Damn! They're locked! Don't worry, Russell will get it! As soon as Russell knocks the gate open, make your way to the boys' dorm. From here on, use the arcade race minigame, confirm that you want to end the current mission, and then quickly exit out of the minigame. Okay, so <laughs> here's me trying to explain this. The game's developers forgot something kind of important at this point in the game. That being, as soon as you start this portion of the mission, it becomes impossible to end it unless you reload your game. Meaning that despite you telling the game, yes, I want to end the current task, the mission will still technically be running in the background. The difference here being that we can now knock out Russell, allowing us with proper timing to relaunch the minigame just as the mission automatically resets. Knock Russell out and then quickly go back to the minigame and start it again. <laughs> Mash the sprint button until you eventually find yourself back at the school gates. If you timed everything right, then you should see that we're now running both the Complete Mayhem mission script and the Arcade Race minigame script simultaneously. Now you might think, hey, cool, thank you, Swagta. Neat glitch. Sweet. No. Bad audience member, bad. We're not done yet. Navigate your spaceship to the girl's storm before one of the townies gets there. And as soon as he walks through the door, drive your spaceship right behind him. 
you should find yourself in the girl's storm by doing this. But hey, let's say you done goofed. Let's say you messed it all up. Fret not, audience, there is a plan B. Press the jump button, exit the minigame, and then just redo the glitch. It's a good idea to keep this method in mind if you ever feel the need to reset the mission. If you feel like it's a bit too difficult to get into the girl's storm, then you could actually do the exact same thing, but at the library. Knock out all the enemies, and then as soon as you leave the building, do not, do not re-enter your spaceship. I don't think I've ever said that in my entire life, but don't do that. Doing this will lock Jimmy inside of the vehicle, making you unable to exit. The only way that I can think of to get out of the spaceship would be to drive it into water, and doing so would of course result in you not being able to use it. So again, don't use the spaceship again until we're done. Take out the remaining factions and then meet up with Edgar inside of the main building. Something you might have noticed is that the mission objective font has changed into the future street racer font. Like I said, we are still running the arcade race minigame simultaneously, hence the change in HUD and font. That was incredibly satisfying! Oh, and as a quick side note, something kinda cool about this glitch is how it actually gives you the ability to pause the game at almost any time you want. Edgar, go help everyone calm down. I've got some business with Gary. This includes animated cutscenes, although it doesn't really pause them, it kinda just gives you the overlay while the cutscene plays in the background. Starting with you, the head, the loser kids in town! Chase Gary to the top of the bell tower. You're dead! <laughs> <laughs> Defeat him in a one-on-one -on -one battle like manly men, and then just wait for the end credits to be over. Smith! Finally, everything is sorted out, more or less. I mean, I don't want to say we're going to live happily ever after or anything like that, but life is certainly going to get easier. If you want to see what Jimmy's up to in the meantime, then you can simply do that by hitting pause and then unpause. It's not very eventful, but a bit more interesting than watching a black background with white text in my opinion. This is actually what the game looks like while the end credits are covering the screen, so I don't know, I guess Rockstar couldn't be bothered to get some cool camera pans like in some of the Grand Theft Auto games. Anyway, after the game is done listing off names, you'll be teleported back into the dorm like normal, except you'll notice that the minigame is still running. Make your way to where you left the spaceship and you should be able to enter it, just like any other vehicle. Watch it, wuss! It is a bit finicky, so it may take you a few attempts, but uh, yeah, that should be it. Ta-da! You can now explore Bullworth and torment its residents like never before. Cops, orderlies, school faculty, whatever, nobody is able to grab you out of the vehicle, so there's no need to worry about getting busted. And you can also fire lasers at anybody unfortunate enough to cross your path. And finally, exiting the minigame will teleport you back into the dorm and turn everything back to normal. Thanks again to Crazy Adam 2000 for showing me this really sweet exploit. If you feel like it, then please head on over to Adam's channel and show him some uh, appreciation for sharing this awesome glitch with all of us. And by the way, thank you, audience, for getting me to 96,000 subscribers on YouTube. I think I'm actually getting close to 97,000 as I'm making this video. I think I'm like halfway there. It seems like anytime I upload a video, I'm like a thousand subs closer. Whether you're an active viewer of mine who watches everything I upload, or someone who just watches me on occasion, thank you. Thank you, seriously. Thank you for giving my channel the time of day. You know, initially when I started making bully videos, I thought maybe a few people out there will enjoy what I'm doing. Maybe, just maybe I'll even get to a thousand subs someday. To think that I'm getting close to a hundred thousand is, I don't know, it's, it's almost surreal. It may not seem like a lot to some people, but it means a lot to me. So, once again, thank you. Oh, and uh, speaking of which, at this rate, I'm about uh, a month away from hitting that big 100k milestone, so as soon as I'm done uploading this video, I'm gonna start working on a 100k sub special. The celebration will consist of me uploading one video every day for a full week, and I think a lot of you are really gonna enjoy what I have in store. Anyway, that is it for this video, you folks. As always, stay classy. Peace.